Hello again everyone, Bob Martin, the RC sub guy from the NautilusDrydocks.com. Uh, wanted to give you an update because I'm going to be out of the shop for about uh, 10 days or so. If you subscribe to my newsletter, which I highly recommend you do, uh, you'll have gotten that newsletter and uh, I let you know about my upcoming travel schedule. Uh, but we got cool things on the horizon. I wanted to give you a little bit of an update in terms of where I'm at, what I am working on, and the projects that are queued up uh, for work coming up in the very near future. Um, in the background, why don't we get started with the, um, the big German Type 21. Uh, put some work into the conning tower, and I've got that basically completed. It's in primer now. All the periscopes are fully functional. Uh, I have accommodations in there for LED lighting. Uh, all of the... Um, Guns, anti-aircraft guns, uh, swivel, they're fully positionable, um, fabricated the uh, conning tower in there, added a lot of details, the rungs and everything, so that aspect uh, is ready to go. I'm going to move on to the hull next, uh, all of the um, opening um, upper hull access, um, getting all of that figured out, the hold downs and such, um, and hopefully this will start looking like a boat you know, very soon rather than a big chunk of fiberglass. Next up, as you can see here, uh, I've got what's going to be a really cool project. This is uh, uh, Ohio class, 196 scale, going to be built up with a three and a half inch OTW dive module. Uh, it's a great kit. It's going to have awesome presence on and under the water. You can see it's a beastly boat, maybe not along the same scale as the big 30th scale 21, but uh, certainly very sizable. The last thing I wanted to point out uh, is this. Tons and tons and tons of inquiries, people wanting to know where I'm at, what I'm doing with the torpedoes. So this is going to be part and parcel of the U-boat that I just showed you. Um, this is a kit that I am in the process of completing. This prototype is fully functional, works perfectly, uh, and I'm really excited about it. Now, um, lots of people have used gas torpedoes in the past, and they're kind of squirrely. They get that thing shooting all over the place, jumping out of the water and such. Um, some people have recently gone with uh, some capacitor-powered torpedoes, and Dan Catcher kind of pioneered this uh, years and years ago, and he's got some great videos on YouTube. Make sure you check it out. Um, and that will actually be the same technology that I'll be utilizing uh, for my 48th scale torpedoes that will be coming out. But in the meantime, these are 32nd scale, and the difference is, is that these are actually powered by small lithium polymer batteries, and they've got this um, timer chip that was designed specifically for me. And uh, basically, what it does. The read switch, when it's triggered, um, activates a five second duration run on the torpedo and then it shuts itself off. Because of course the last thing you want to do is fire off your torpedo and have it uh, fly across the entire pool uh, or pond and, uh, and be unretrievable. So the really cool thing about this, um, all of these parts I designed in 3D, they're 3D uh, printed. They're exceptionally light. One of the big struggles that people have is the fact that it's hard to get all the components in there um, and have it float. Um, this is actually way too light and I'm having to create some ballast. And the cool thing about that is is that the ballast will keep the torpedo upright and stop that spinning motion that sometimes causes the arc when you fire off the torpedoes. So things are looking exceptionally uh, promising here. I got my little 3D printed um, scale propellers you can see on the back there. So um, thinking probably in the next couple of weeks you're going to see some video up of the finished product in the pool um, getting fired off. Uh, the launch mechanism is really great. I'm going to be using Kevin McLeod's torpedo control module which will allow gas firing uh, in a burst of air. So take a look for that. Um, that's really what I got going on right now. Um, other big news, I closed on that shop, so that is all uh, completed. I'll be sending pictures and video of that uh, really soon. So that's my update. I really appreciate your time checking me out. 
Um, be sure to check out NautilusDryDocks.com for all sorts of information, resources, and RC submarine components uh, for this amazing hobby. Again, this is Bob Martin, the RC Sub Guy. Thanks for joining me. Catch you next time.